Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today we're going to be talking about some potential marathon leaks. I'm not really sure. This just popped up on my radar from an account that I've never heard of before. Uh, it was quote tweeted by somebody that I know within the Destiny Bungie community. The account has 7,570 followers. They follow zero people. They do tweet a lot. So with everything in life, take this with a grain of salt. Again, I've never heard of them. I don't know how reliable it is. We are going to talk about the Christopher Barrett stuff as well. And, you know, there is a, a part of this thread where they say that uh, they believe that a controlled leak may be in the future. And quite honestly, that's kind of what this post actually feels like. Now, for this account, I did try to look up to see if they were reputable in any way. Jason Schreier, you, if you all know him, he's a games journalist, says that this account has been posting nonsense for years. So this is kind of like a, don't fall into the trap of whatever this is, you know, because potentially, maybe, most likely even, this is going to be fake information. Time will tell. But if you want to stay up to date with marathon news, rumors, leaks, and all that cool stuff until Bungie invites me out, to actually play the game and test it and whatnot and give feedback, you guys can sub to this channel. I could be your second favorite marathon YouTuber out there trying to hit 15,000 subs. I believe we can do it this year. I know 90% of you watch these videos aren't subscribed. So just help me out a little bit. All right, let's get into the actual tweets. It seems like they uh, title their thread. So this is called the Marathon Expose. The first sentence, it's not a hero shooter. Okay, it's not getting canceled. Barrett was replaced by Ziegler more than a year ago. People can't read and think. The second part of the thread talks about how lore rich the franchise is, and that is true. Talks about that you are a runner with a cybernetic body and you control your consciousness to a new one if you die. And then they double down saying the whole hero shooter freakiness is total nonsense. Now a lot of the, the stuff can be like kind of common sense. They say that there are content creator playtests every month and they're mostly Escape from Tarkov and Hunt Showdown streamers, that they are not Overwatch or Rainbow Six or Valorant players, and that just because it's the former Valorant director doesn't mean the game's going to be a hero shooter now. But this next one kind of makes me, you know, it, it's kind of like, well, duh, that's why people would think this. But they said the closest thing I've heard could be that there are four customizable runner presets for different play styles, kind of like the finals, but that was before Ziegler even took over. They said this is because they need to know and figure out how to monetize the game since it's gonna be free to play, and they don't wanna go down like the Tarkov and Hunt, you know, philosophy of how they monetize their games with like DLCs and special editions. So basically cosmetics are the only way that they're gonna make money. They say that the game is only gonna launch with solo and trio experiences. So this is something that I think is interesting if it's true. You choose your affiliation with different corporations like the UESC, Traxxas, or Mida. And apparently Mida is the rebel group where you can be a solo player and I guess attack other groups of people. I don't play Tarkov, but it says that it's like scabs from that or renegades from the division's dark zone. It says there's customizable weapons, barrel scopes, mag stocks, a market to buy and sell stuff, seasonal progression, that is similar to Destiny 2's artifact system and power level that is called Bios Points. It's more of a hunt game than a Tarkov game. They didn't talk about maps and how one map can be controlled by a glitched AI that randomizes stuff, that it's definitely not being canceled, and that it is the main project that Bungie with Matter and Payback canceled, and Gummy Bears being in the earliest stages. Now this is the part that is Interesting, exciting to me is that the gameplay reveals around the corner and if they are not ready to show it themselves, I'm pretty sure we will see a controlled leak to get the overall impressions. But they put expressions and they said it's a game with good self-esteem. It's not cloning or making a direct copy of any game. So that's the end of the thread. If you guys wanna go check it out yourselves, it will be in the description down below. How true all this is, I don't know. I don't know if they have sources, if they get sources, if all this is just for clout. Again, take it with a grain of salt, but I would be remiss if I didn't talk about it and maybe prevent you guys from falling into the trap if this is fake. I take it with a grain of salt. A few things do make sense, but we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. 
The next part uh, that I want to talk about is the Christopher Barrett stuff. Um, I mean, you just can't act like that, I feel. Bungie did their investigation and whatnot. You know, it is what it is at this point. The quote-unquote art that Christopher Barrett has done and did is phenomenal, but you just you just can't act like that. That's gonna do it with the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.